Hello everyone, welcome to solve this math Olympiad algebra problem and here we have k to the power of 6 equals to 2 to the power of 6 and here uh, we need to find all the roots of uh, this given equation. So here we find all 6 root of this equation. So uh, the very first step we are going to do is here first we move this 2 to the power of 6 in the left hand side and we write it as k to the power of 6 minus 2 to the power of 6 and this whole equals to 0 and now here we rewrite this equation in this form uh, this is k cubed and its whole square minus this is 2 cubed and its whole square equals to 0 here we multiply these two exponents and 3 twos are 6 so similarly these 3 twos are also 6 so uh, after that here we need a nice square identity and you know about this identity if we have a square minus b square it is equals to a minus b times of a plus b here we use this nice formula to the above term uh, so that our above term is written as k cubed minus 2 cubed into k cubed plus 2 cubed and this whole equation equals to 0. So here we have uh, two cases. Uh, the first case is we take k cubed minus 2 cubed equals to 0 and the second case is uh, we take k cubed plus 2 cubed equals to 0. Here we call this is our equation number 1 and this is our equation number 2. So now we uh, solve these two equations simultaneously and we easily get the uh, all the 6 values of k. So here first we focus on equation number 1. So from 1 we have k cubed minus 2 cubed equals to 0. So that here we use the nice uh, cubic formula and you know about this formula if we have a cubed minus b cubed it is equals to a minus b times of a square plus a b plus b square. So here we use this nice formula uh, to the above term. So uh, our above equation is written as uh, after applying this formula is. Uh, so we have a minus b and our a is k and b is 2 into a square and a is k square plus a b. So our a is k and b is 2 and uh, plus b square. So b is 2 square and this whole equation equals to 0. And now in the next step uh, here we have k minus 2 into k square plus 2k and plus this is 2 square is 4 and this whole equation equals to 0. So here we divide this into two cases. The first case is we take k minus 2 equals to 0 and the second case is we take k square plus 2k plus 4 equals to 0. So in the first case we easily get the value of k equals to 2 and this is the first real root of the given equation and now in order to find the other roots we need to solve this quadratic equation so here we use the quadratic formula in order to solve this quadratic equation so first we write the coefficients of this equation and its coefficients are a equals to 1 b equals to 2 and c equals to 4 and we know about the quadratic formula it is stated as k equals to minus b plus minus square root of b square minus 4 times of ac divided by 2 times of a so this is the our quadratic formula and now we substitute the values of a b and c in this formula so uh, when we substitute the above values here it is written as uh, this is minus b and b is 2 so it is minus 2 plus minus square root of b square so b is 2 square minus 4 times of a c a is 1 and c is 4 and this is divided by 2 times of a and our a is equals to 1. And now in the next step here we need more simplifications and we write it as k equals to minus 2 plus minus square root of 2 square is 4 and 4 fours are 16 and it is divided by 2. So here we need a simplification and we write it as minus 2 plus minus square root of minus 12 and it is divided by 2. 
so here we focus on this minus uh, 12 square root and it is written as minus 2 plus minus we write this 12 as 4 times of 3 and we have a square root of minus 1 and here we break this fraction and we write uh, this fraction separately on both of these terms so here we write it as minus 2 over 2 plus minus we know that square root of 4 is 2 into square root of 3 and square root of minus 1 is iota and it is divided by 2. So we have this 2 is cancelled out by this 2 and we get minus 1 plus minus this is cancelled out by this one and square root of 3 into iota. So these are the other two uh, complex values of the given equation so that from first case we get these three uh, roots of the given equation so now in order to find the other roots here we need to solve equation number two and so here we just copy down equation number two so our equation number two is k cubed plus two cubed equals to zero so here we use the other cubic formula and we know about this formula if you have a cubed plus b cubed it is equals to a plus b times of a square my plus a b plus b square so here we use this nice formula to the above equation so that our above equation is written as a plus b so a is k plus 2 into a square a is k square minus a b a is k and b is 2 plus b square so b is 2 square and this whole equation equals to 0 and now in the next step uh, here we have we convert this into two cases the first case is we take k plus 2 equals to 0 and the second case is we take k square minus 2k plus 4 equals to 0. So from first case we easily get the uh, first rule uh, first root of the, the uh, second equation. So this is k equals to minus 2 and now in order to find the other roots we need to solve this quadratic equation and its coefficients are a equals to 1, b equals to minus 2 and c equals to 4. So here we again use the quadratic formula in order to solve uh, this equation. So we have k equals to minus b plus minus k root of b square minus 4 times of ac and it is divided by 2 times of a. So here we substitute the values of uh, a, b and c. So we have the value of b is minus 2 plus minus square root of b square. So b is minus 2 square minus 4 times of a is 1 and c is 4 and this is divided by 2 times of a and our a is 1. So here we need more simplifications and we write it as 2 plus minus square root of 4 minus 16 and it is divided by 2 so here we have 2 plus minus square root of minus 12 and it is divided by 2 uh, so here we just simplify this equation and we write it as 2 plus minus we write this 12 minus 12 square root as 2 into square root of 3 into iota and it is divided by 2. So here we separate uh, this fraction and we write it as k equals to 2 over 2 plus minus 2 into square root of 3 iota over 2. So these are cancelled by each other. This is also cancelled by each other. And finally we get here k equals to 1 plus minus square root of 3 into iota. So these are the other two complex roots of the given equation and its third root is k equals to minus 2. So these are the three roots which we get from equation number 2 and we get three roots from equation number 1. So these are the total six roots of the given equation and this is the final answer and thank you so much for watching this video. Please subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos.